Oh, decisions, decisions. Did I take the Argentina job or did I reject it? Well, there were some things that crossed my mind when I was thinking about it, and so after a little research, I made my mind up. What did I do? Let's go and find out. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to The Road to Glory, part 19, season 3, here at Elgin City. And so, did I take the job as manager of Argentina? The answer to that question is no. And the reason for it was fairly straightforward. When I actually looked at the squad, it was fairly straightforward to see why Scaloni had resigned. Because all the players coming into the next World Cup in two years would be over 35 and that was not a good place for Argentina to be in. And the current squad needed a massive overhaul. And I just felt that was a full-time job for someone, not a job that someone could do part-time whilst working at lowly Elgin City. So, with a heavy heart, I declined the offer. And I know I probably made an error because it could have been good for my reputation. But I think I want to focus on Elgin City and build my reputation from here and see where we can go in terms of club football. And so the decision's been made and we've had a fairly decent start to the season. And if we have a look at the schedule, we can see that when you were last here, we had that fabulous win against championship side Arbroath in the League Cup Group D. And the League Cup Group D were the next three fixtures. And we followed that with a good 1-0 win against Forfar Athletic from the same league as us, League One. And then League One, Aloha Athletic, we also beat them by a goal to nil. But unfortunately, we lost in the final game of the group to Greenock Morton of the championship by two goals to one. We were very unfortunate, although they did have most of the chances. We could have sneaked a point there and maybe won it on penalties. We only needed a point to actually win the group. But in the end, we finished up in second place again this year. It's a good performance with two championship teams in that group. That's an outstanding performance. To get nine points from our four games, we did very, very well indeed. And so now I think it's a good time to go to the Elgin City News Update. And first, Ross Mackay made his senior team debut in the Scottish Cup game against Forfar Athletic. And he did very well with a rating of 6.7 on his debut in a match that we won by a goal to nil. He's a very young player and made his senior debut at the tender age of 16. And I think he is a name for the future and he is going to become a very fine player for Elgin. Currently, we are training him up as an attacking midfielder and he's one definitely to look out for in the future. And in transfer news since you were last here, we have made a further signing. We have signed Calvin Magori on a free transfer. He has come in as a fringe player. I really just want him to sit on the bench most of the time. But I hope that in that role, he will do a very decent job for us when we have injuries or tiredness that we have to deal with. He's just a bench player, but I hope that he will be a good member of the squad. And in terms of players that we have let go, since you were last here, we have let go Daryl McCarty. He was beginning to cause me a few problems, moaning and whinging all the time. And we've let him go out on loan to Hurlford. And also Finn Allen, another young midfielder, he's gone out on loan to Rob Roy. And so that is pretty much an update in terms of what has happened in and out in the transfer market. But we are awaiting news on two fronts and we have offered a contract to Darren Brownlee and he is a central defender and we definitely still need to get central defenders in. He's considering his contract. He looks like a very, very good player and he looks like the sort of player that we could definitely use here at Elgin. And we have also made a bid to loan Tony Weston from Rangers. He is a striker. He is a pressing forward and that would be ideal. My idea is to use Pasnik in midfield and use 
Weston as a pressing forward and pair him up with Dawson, who will play then as the advance forward. And that, I think, would settle our problems up front. He is an amazing player, and I'm hoping very much that he decides to come to Elgin. We haven't seen as good a player like that at Elgin in many, many years. Brilliant mentals, good physicals, and not a bad technical player as well. Finishing 14, composure 11, and that's really good for this level. We're hoping that he'll make a decision, the correct decision, to come and join us for a year at Elgin. And we have to say, sadly, I hope goodbye to Campbell Notley and he is considering a transfer offer from FC Edinburgh. We hopefully have sold him for £500. He's definitely not good enough anymore to be in this team at this level and so hopefully he will be on the way out of the door freeing up a little bit of transfer money and most importantly a little bit of wage budget. And so he will probably not be the last one out because also we have put up for sale Matthew Henderson, the young left back, Dino Leddy, who is really causing me problems and he's not training very well. And we've also put up for sale Kane Hester. And all these three players, I hope, will be joining Notley and leaving the club. And then I can also then bring in another midfielder and hopefully another defender to strengthen the squad in the in the areas that I definitely need to strengthen. And so overall, it's just getting very, very busy. And my big worry about this is that we are not going to gel. There were signs early in the season that we were making errors and I think it's probably not going to be the greatest start to the season this, this year. It often happens if you alter the squad too much, then you're going to pay for it in terms of results on the pitch. It's going to take them a while to gel, but we're going to do our best and hopefully the start to the season will not be too bad. We do have to play against Kelty Hearts today. They are a difficult team to play. They are a defensive outfit, and so therefore my concern is that they will play long direct balls over the top. So I'm gonna to have to drop the lines a little bit while maintaining a very positive attitude. And I think probably a low block and playing a little bit more direct over the top and looking for the pace of Dawson to try and break them down. And I hope that we can get a good result and a good start to the season here. I think it's now a good time to go and play Kelty Hearts. Let's go and kick some balls. And so the team for today is Hoban Ingo with McGill, Mackay, Mackenzie and Crane at the back, Leon, Magori, Alston and Rose in midfield with Dingwell and Dawson up front. And I've made the decision to go with Dingwell who has been a little bit of out of sorts at the moment instead of Fada Hunsi because I want to bring in a little bit of experience. I'm going to tell them it's important that we take advantage of the home game that this will be an important thing during this season to win our games at home and the game has begun and it is a very very quiet start although we are absolutely dominating possession and Kelty Hearts have hardly had the ball at all we are in control of the game by the look of it, um, but the score remains nil-nil after 11 minutes. Nothing much seems to have happened. I'm not too happy with how things are going. We're creating a lot of chances, but we are not taking them. And I need us to be doing a lot better than this. And at the moment it is total domination, but there has not been a highlight. I'm going to have a shout at them and say demand more because this is not good enough. There has not been a single highlight, which means that we've not created very good chances. It remains nil-nil as we're coming up to half time. Some of these boys um, are not playing too well. And there is a chance for Kelty Hearts and it's cleared off the line. And here is Dawson. Dawson picks up that loose ball. Kelty Hearts had a chance and Dawson tries to go down the left, but he's well tackled. But it looks like it's a yellow card for the defender. Um, but it remains nil-nil. Kelty Hearts have had the best opportunity of the half 
um, despite the fact that they've been absolutely dominated in all areas of the game. Possession, they've hardly had the ball. We've created far more chances than them, but they look more likely to score. And there's another chance for Kelty Hearts. And I'm just going to berate the team. This is just not good enough. And McGill tries to bring it forward. I don't care if the players are upset. They've got to do better than this. It remains Elgin nil, Kelty Hearts nil. They are going to have a rollicking at half time. Some of these players are probably not going to be playing featuring in the second half this is just not good enough and I am going to absolutely just say to them I do not like what I have seen and they need to do better and so second half begins and we do need to do a lot better and here it's Kelty Hearts again despite the fact that we are totally in control of this game they've had all the highlights we have not had a single highlight Mackay, Mackay finds McGill he's looking long and he finds Dawson Dawson can you get a cross in he's looking into the box he finds Bob Ross <laughs> that goes flying over the bar he hit it straight at the goalkeeper we call him Bob Ross round here because of his artistry on the pitch Ah, uh, maybe we'll forget that little gag. <laughs> and there's a chance, and Mackay has turned it in from the set piece. It's now Elgin City 1, Kelty Hearts 0. We finally had a highlight, and we have scored. From a set piece, Alston's near post corner, and it was nodded on by Austin, and Mackenzie has popped it into the, bar, into the back of the net. It's now Elgin City 1. Kelty Hearts nil. We're totally outplaying them, and yet the scoreline does not reflect how the match has gone. And we do have a free kick, though. It is Alston over the ball, and Alston drives it. It hits the bar, and there's a chance, and it has gone in. Darren Leon has scored for Elgin. It is now Elgin City 2, Kelty Hearts nil. And I think now we are in control of this game. Seb Ross is not having the best of games and one or two others are not playing that well. Leon probably has rescued his rating. Yeah, Leon has now gone up to a 7.4 but some of these players are not playing too well and it might be time to make a change or two. I might bring Dingwell, Dingwell off and we'll put on Fado. Fadahunsi, see if he can play a little bit better than Dingwall has played. But we have picked up the loose ball in midfield. And here's Mackenzie. Mackenzie finds Crane. Crane to Magori. And Mackenzie, Leon. Two players are on yellow cards. So maybe I need to think about swapping them off. And Dingwall. Dingwall looking to get it into the box. There's a chance, but it was a bit casual. And we didn't put that away. And Magori. And I think we are going to make a few changes. We'll make... We'll let this highlight run and then we'll go and make a few changes as Dawson nods it down to Alston. Playing it around at the back, Mackay finds Leon. Hoping for big things from Leon this season. We've brought him in to be our number one defensive mid and we haven't really had a good defensive mid uh, since um, we lost... Um, I can't remember what his name was now. We lost our defensive mid a while back. He was the stalwart at the back there. And here is Dawson. Dawson looks to get it into the box. Can he find Fado Husni who heads it over the bar? It remains Elgin City 2. Kelty Hearts nil. I think we'll make some changes now. And so we've made a few changes. And um, Anderson has come on for McGill who was feeling very, very tired. We brought on Gil Hooley and young... Mackay at attacking midfield he will get to play 15 minutes or so as a 16 year old in league one and uh, hopefully he'll do very very well he's having a 6.7 again um, so he's doing actually very very well and as the game comes to a close it's going to be I think Elgin City 2 KLT Hearts nil, and I, that's a very very good start to the season it could have been better. We had a, It was a very slow start to the game and I wasn't too happy. But once we scored, once we got on top of them, we dominated the game. And three points is three points. And we'll take that 
to begin with. It's going to be very, very tough as we go through this season. We have made a good start. We do have Edinburgh coming up, Dunfermline, Forfar and Alloa, and we should do okay in theory. But this squad is new playing together and we may have a few upsets as we go through this month. I think what we'll do is now we'll come back for the game against Cove Rangers after the transfer window has shut because I think there's going to be a little bit more activity going on in the transfer window. So that's it for this video. If you are new to the channel, why not subscribe, like, watch and comment, help the channel to grow and help us to support all that good stuff that you can see scrolling above. And so from a fairly happy Elgin City, I'm, I'm a fairly happy manager at this stage. It's been a winning start and I can't ask for more than that. I will bid you all farewell Take care and we will see you in the next episode.